are such an asshole. Remember that one time Cappy used to go to the gym regularly and then we're all the hell, we're all loose and there's a lot of work. Yeah, they died of a heart attack. So I'm just complaining. All right, dear Cappy, I'm a long time viewer, first time requester. I believe you touched upon this before. But could you run the pros and cons of an LLC, S Corp, C Corp, proprietorship, partnership, and limited partnership? I'm very interested in your take on them of specific interest to myself and perhaps others. Is there any financial benefits from forming any of these setups as a solo individual? Uh, well, some of you can, but partnerships and S Corp, or C Corps, you can't. Um, would forming said company early be advantage to establish a the framework and pedigree example company A was established in 2018 when the year is 2028. You know what you could do? I won't, it's lying, but you, unless someone's going to go look up when you registered with the Secretary of State, you could say since 1947 on your website. No one's going to look it up. They say, well, how come it wasn't registered? Why well, my old man ran the company, blah, blah, blah. You know, that's how businesses do business. They lie. Legally lie. <clears throat> Apologies if these seem like elementary questions. Googling told me a little, but I want an extra set of eyes. I don't want to be a wage slave forever. And given your professional experience and your successful stint as a business owner, I figure my way Keep me anonymous. Blah, 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 blah. All right. I'll keep you anonymous. All right. Um, let's go through them all, and I'll, and I'll tell you about the pros and cons. For the vast majority of you starting your businesses, just go with what's called an LLC, Limited Liability Corporation or Company. Uh, you want to do a single member LLC, which is just LLC. Don't worry about what these words mean. You go in 95% of the time, people are going to, oh yeah, LLC, single member. That means you're the only owner. LLC is going to have multiple owners, but for most part, you're going to just be a single member LLC. I will also interject at this point in our conversation that you do not ever want to take on a business partner. You never take on a business partner. So partnerships are cute, but they're academic in terms of this discussion. All right, they're there, but don't take on a business partner. One man, one captain per ship. All right, you do not have two captains. One captain, one owner, and that's it. So an LLC um, is basically a limited liability corporation. You go to the Secretary of State to set up all these. You can set up these companies uh, in any state. You don't have to live in that state. For example, I set up an LLC for Operation Evil <clears throat> in Nevada because it's no income taxes, state income taxes, um, though you do have to pay federal when you transfer, uh, l limited liability, anonymity, uh, New Mexico, like you, you could just file it and no one can look you up in New Mexico. Wyoming has similar uh, beneficial ones. Delaware is also a, a preferable place for people to file their LLC. So you don't have to be, don't don't let them bother you. Oh, I got an LLC in Nevada. Cool, you got an LLC in Nevada, even though you live in West Virginia. That's fine. Perfectly acceptable, perfectly legal. So what these limited liability companies do is they limit your liability, meaning only the company could get sued, not you. And so this is why I just say everybody go set up an LLC as your starting business, right? Every once in a while, the first business you start will be the one that makes you the bunch of money. But more often than not, the first several businesses you're going to start, they're not going to necessarily be unprofitable, but not going to be profitable enough for you to live off of. But it's still good to go through this process and set up. So, Secretary of State, state of your choosing. I recommend uh, Wyoming, Nevada, uh, South Dakota, and Delaware. Um, but look into the pros and cons of each of those. <clears throat> so, uh, if any, whatever reason, someone tries to sue you, you can't get sued. Your company gets sued. So there's that. Then there's an S Corp. An S Corp is an actual corporation. Um, it has more shareholders. It can have more shareholders than an LLC. There really is not that much of a functional difference. There is still legal limited uh, legal liability limitations. You 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 are the owner of the S Corp, but your personal assets cannot get sued. And there's a tax thing you can do if you start making enough money where the S-Corp owns the LLC and you lower your self-employment tax. Talk to my accountant, Chad Elkins at Elkins CPA, about that. Right? So the LLC, money goes directly from the LLC to your personal taxes. You pay taxes on that. If you have an S-Corp LLC combination, you are an employee of the S-Corp. I believe that's correct. And the LLC owns, no, the S-Corp owns the LLC. I forget which one it is. Uh, but there's a way to lower your tax bill significantly and legally. That's the important thing, legally. 
Uh, but you go talk to a CPA about that. Uh, but the S Corp is a, a little bit, um, it, it's a touch more involved. I would say not as versatile as the LLC. Just so for your average Joe Schmo, for your purposes now, set up your LLC. If all of a sudden you start making significant money, you're making like 30, 40, 50, 60, 100,000 dollars, then maybe go talk to an accountant and think about setting up an LLC S Corp ownership combination. Then you got a C corporation. This is, you're not going to use this. You're not going to set up. This would be if you wanted to access capital markets and raise a billion dollars to build a, an electronic car company that never makes a dime. All right. <laughs> um, no, but these are your traditional corporations, evil big corporations, you know, unlimited number of shareholders. Uh, your, your stock can be publicly traded or privately traded. But I want to worry about I want I want to worry about that because it's it's just not for the vast majority of startup uh, entrepreneurs. Plus, you get to deal with double taxation. The C corp is treated as a separate legal entity in terms of taxation, and that you are taxed at a corporate tax rate, and then whatever profits are paid out are then retaxed again uh, in the form of dividend taxation. I would be avoiding C corps. I don't even know why they're made anymore. I really don't know why, um, but they are. We're more public. Public. Look at my IPO. Remember that in the 90s, late 90s? You guys remember that? Nah, you know. Don't worry, you'll make the exact same mistakes all over, but for you, it'll be new and you'll take the economy just like those evil baby boomers did. Uh, then we get into the P's the propri uh, proprietorship, partnership, and limited partnership. Uh, proprietorship is usually just sole proprietorship, it's, it's just you saying, I'm going into business. You don't have to file any paperwork with the Secretary of State. You don't set up a separate legal entity. You, know, you just say, my name is Bob, and I'm going into Bob's Fizzy Widgets. Oh, my gosh, do you need a Fizzy Widget? Who doesn't need a Fizzy Widget? Well, come to Bob's Fizzy Widgets. We got Fizzy Widgets coming out of our ass. And um, you go and you you just set up a website, Bob's Fizzy Widgets, Fizzy Widgets, and you don't have to register with the state or anything like that. Problem. Uh, you are now 100% legally responsible if Bob's Fizzy Widgets blow up and kill an orphanage of little innocent children. Okay, so I don't even bother with the sole proprietorship. You go LLC, get that legal uh, protection there. Another variation of the sole proprietorship is a partnership. Um, this is a regular partnership, not a limited one, regular partnership uh, is a regular partnership. Uh, two or more people. Um, they run the business. You don't have to file uh, with the state. Therefore, it is not a legal entity. And therefore, both you and any partners in the firm are held legally liable for any mistakes to partnership. So it's Bob and Mike's fizzy widgets. And Bob and Mike don't go to the uh, S uh, Sec uh, Secretary of State and file the correct paperwork. And then Bob and Mike's fizzy widgets kill a bunch <coughs> of gender studies majors in a horrific a accident. And uh, since they know that you're men and you obviously had it out for women because you're, you're sexist, they sue Bob and Mike. And you guys had no legal uh, liability protection. <coughs> so <clears throat> then there is the limited partnership. Uh, this is where you have two or more people owning the company. One is a general partner that person is the one who manages and runs the company and is also legally responsible for it. And then there is a limited partner uh, where that limited partner is a limited investor of sorts. They're limited. So they're limited in terms of what they've invested. They also are limited in terms of what they're legally responsible for. So if uh, you are the general partner and I am the limited partner, I throw in $100,000 into the company um, and your, your company is... Uh, Blasto guns, and they're just guns, and they go blasto unknowing. They just blow up, especially when little children are around. A lot of little children die with your business ideas. And uh, a blasto gun uh, kills uh, a her. What's what's the most? It kills a, a a Spanish immersion school of children. Oh my God! Blasto gun killed a bunch of kids. Who knew they would blast? <coughs> and um, the the parents come suing after you. Uh, they cannot come after me. I am the limited partner. I had invested a limited amount of money. I've lost my hundred thousand. I'm never going to get that back. But I have. I'm not personally responsible for any lawsuits or costs 
incurred upon uh, by the business. You are, as the general partner, you are. You are. Le so it's like a sole proprietorship. It's just a way to get other people to invest in you because there's no risk to them. Um, so that's why I would, uh, that, that's what a limited partnership. What the old captain would do is you're not doing any partnerships. You're a one man operation, especially if you're starting off small. What you want to be is the one man operation, then a large C Corp wants to come in and give you a billion dollars for your fizzy widget formula. Right, that's the ideal world. So you're going to be doing an LLC, maybe using an S-Corp down the road to have that uh, self-employment tax thing taken care of. Sole proprietorship, I wouldn't do that either because if you're going to go into business, create a separate legal entity. Partnerships, limited partnerships, do neither. And C-Corp is not going to be your thing. You're just not going to be used in a C-Corp. All right. Uh, so I would be doing the LLC 95% of the time. If you're lucky one out of 20 times you're making enough money, you got to go get the S-Corp. But at that point in time, hit up Chad Elkins or any CPA, preferably Chad, um, and he can arrange that for you, but any CPA worth their salt can do that for you too. All right, that's it. Questions, answers, Cappy, AssleConsulting.com. We'll see you all later. Toodles.